Privacy policy about Wikipedia disclaimers contact Wikipedia code of conduct developers statistics cookie statement mobile view. This page was last edited on the 3rd of August 2024 at 626 UTC. Text is available under the Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike License 4.0. Additional terms may apply. By using this site, you agree to the terms of use and privacy policy. Wikipedia Registered Trademark Symbol is a registered trademark of the Wikimedia Foundation, Inc., a non-profit organization. Vertical Archipelago 1 Language Article Talk Read Edit View History Tools Show 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 Part of a series on Economic Systems Major Types Capitalism Socialism Communism By Ideology By Coordination By Regional Model Sectors Property Types Transition Coordination Other Types Business and Economics Portal VTE From Wikipedia, the Free Encyclopedia The Vertical Archipelago is a term coined by sociologist and anthropologist John Victor Murrah under the influence of economist Karl Polanyi to describe the native Andean agricultural economic model of accessing and distributing resources. While some cultures developed market economies, the predominant models were systems of barter and shared labor. These reached their greatest development under the Inca Empire. Scholars have identified four distinct ecozones, at different elevations. Overview, Edit Aside from certain cultures, particularly in the arid northwest coast of Peru and northern Andes, Pre-colonial Andean civilizations did not have strong traditions of market-based trade. Like Mesomersion. Poctica traders, there was a trading class known as Mindales in these northern coastal and highland societies. 1. A system of barter known as Truk is also known to have existed in these coastal societies. As a means of exchanging goods and foodstuffs between farmers and fishermen. 2. A simple currency, known to archaeologists as axe monies, were also present in the area, as well as western Mesomersia. 3. By contrast, most highland Andean societies, such as the Quechua and Aymara, were organized into moietal lineage groups, such as Alus in the Quechua case. These lineages internally shared local labor. Through a system called Minke. The Minke labor system itself rested upon the concept of Aini, or reciprocity, and did not use any form of money as in the case of the coastal Andean traders. All members of the village, the Aliyu, had to contribute a certain amount of labor, usually one day a week, to a communal project such as the construction of common use buildings, maintenance, herding the communally owned animals or sowing and harvesting communally owned farmland. Fundamentally, it is a concept of ecological complementarity mediated through cultural institutions. For, some scholars, while accepting the structure and basic nature of the vertical archipelago, have suggested that inter-ethnic trade and barter may have been more important than the model suggests, despite the lack of evidence in the archaeological and Ethnohistoric record. 5, 6. Absent the use of trade to access resources, economic transactions were essentially intralineage obligations of labor. These lineages required a base level of self sufficiency to achieve autarky. In the Andes, a long mountain range with a great variety of ecozones and resources, the need to access the proper lands for specific crops or animals meant lineages created miniature colonies or sent seasonal migration, such as transhumance, in different ecogens. 
As the Andes are a relatively young mountain range, there is especially great variation in rainfall and temperature, which has great importance for agriculture. This is all. The more important as only about 2% of the land in the Andes is arable. 7. Ecozones, edit. Headed from the arid, western coast to the humid, eastern slopes bordering the Amazon basin, there are four basic ecozones which highland Andean communities. Exploit. The Quechua zone refers to relatively warm, relatively low valleys falling between 2,300 and 3,200 m, 7,500 and 10,500 feet. This area shares its name with the Quechua people and languages and was especially sought after for growing maize. The Sunni zone rises from 3,200 to 4,000 m, 10,500 to 13,100 feet, and is suitable for the production of native tubers and grains such as quino, canoa, and kiwicha. Given the innumerable valleys and microclimates of the Andes, over the millennia Andean farmers developed over 1,000 varieties of potatoes, as well as other tuber species, such as mashua, aluco, oca, and achira. The Puna zone is composed of high, cold grasslands, suitable largely for pasture by camelids, the domesticated llama and alpaca, as well as the wild vicuna and Guanaco. The former were used as not only as pack animals, but also for their meat and wool. Vicunas and Guanacos, though undomesticated, were used for their fine and much prized wool. Little agriculture is performed in the Puna, though in the Bolivian Altiplano intensive agriculture was possible through the use of Waru Waru raised bed agriculture which used specialized irrigation techniques to prevent frost from destroying crops. The Montana zone is humid and forested. Populations here were not as large as in other ecozones, as the plants grown in Montana areas were generally speaking not food crops, but rather tobacco and coca. Just as the puna is used to collect resources from wild animals as well as domestic ones, brightly colored. Feathers were collected from wild birds in the Montana, such as macaws. 8. 9. Under the Inca, edit. See also, MITA. The Inca state drew its taxes through both tax in kind and corvée labor drawn from lineages and administered through a bureaucracy composed largely of local nobility. The corvée labor force was used for military operations as well as public works projects, such as roads, aqueducts, and storage buildings known as Tampu and Colca. There were parallel institutions of lineage-based colonies known as Mitmakuna, which produced goods for the state and provided strategic security in newly acquired areas, and Yanakuna, which were retainers with labor obligations to hire members of the state. 10. 1 1. Lands belonging to the Saparinka, the state church, and to Panicus, lineages descending from individual Saparinkas according to the principle of split inheritance, were often vertically arrayed to access a variety of resources. Indeed, it has been widely suggested that the terraces at Murray were testing grounds for determining which crops would grow under what conditions in order to more efficiently exploit ecozones. The terraces were apparently constructed so that different temperatures and humidities could be achieved through the creation of microclimates, and therefore produce different kinds of crops. 12, 13. See also, edit. In can agriculture. Karl Polanyi. Substantivism. References, edit. 1 Carrot Salomon, F. 1987. A North Andean Status Trader Complex. Under Inca Rule. Ethnohistory, 32, 1, p 63-77. 
2 carried mostly, Emmy. 2001. The Incas and their ancestors. Thames and. Hudson, New York, 44 p. 3 carried Hosler, D. 1988. Ancient West Mexican Metallurgy, South and. Central American Origins and West Mexican Transformations. American Anthropologist, New Series, 94, p. 832 to 855. 4 Carid Row, J. H. and Murrah, J. V. 1984. An interview with John V. Murrah. The Hispanic American Historical Review, 64, 4. P644. 5 Carat Van Buren, M. 1996. Rethinking the Vertical Archipelago. Ethnicity, Exchange, and History in the South Central Andes. American Anthropologist, New Series, 98, 2. P338-351. 6 Carat Mosley, M.E. 2001. The Incas and their ancestors. Thames and. Hudson, New York, P.43-48. 7 Carrot Murrah, J.V. 1968. A Namer Kingdom in 1567. Ethnohistory. 15, 2. P115-151. 8 Carid McEwen, G.F. 2006. The Inca. W.W. Norton and Company, New York, p. 19-24. 9 Carid D. Altroy, T.N. 2003. The Incas. Blackwell Publishing Malden, p. 28-35. 10 Carid McEwen, G.F. 2006. The Incas. W.W. Norton and Company, New York, p. 97 to 102. 11 Carid Mosley, M.E. 2001. The Incas and their ancestors. Thames and. Hudson, London, p. 55 to 56. 70 to 77. 12 Carrot Earls, J. The Character of Inca and Andean Agriculture. P1 to 29. 13 Carrot Atwood, R. 2007, Letter from Peru, The Mystery Circles of the Andes. Archaeology, 65. Categories. Economic Systems Agriculture in South America Economic Anthropology Inca Economic History of South America Search Search Wikipedia Create Account Login